Welcome to Comic Station, issue number 79 for July 2nd, 2014. As I'm on vacation, uh, still have to do the show. I still enjoy doing the show. So, But we are on location now. Dun, 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 this at is Lee's. my house. Yeah, we went to Paul's last time, and now we're at mine for a uh, quickie review with all my hero clicks, essentials, and brick a brack. I love these. you got a huge uh, essentials of Thor, and I just want to read that. For, speaking of huge, the first comic we have today is... Enormous Ooh. from Think Bigger, and it's basically a Godzilla ripoff. Da, da, da. Who's a guest? Yeah, especially with that name, specifically of the most recent Godzilla, in that it's full of really boring human characters who are focused on way too much. The imagery and color work is beyond awful, with everything blending together. None of the characters interesting are introduced that well, and the creature is hardly enormous. It's just about the size of a helicopter, and the action is very lame. Don't buy it. Yeah, basically sounds like the recent Godzilla. Yeah. Uh, I actually have Deadpool versus X-Force, number one. And I really love Deadpool, so of course I wanted to check this out. I think Deadpool himself in the comic book really fits what uh, my imagining of him was. He is the merc with the mouth. Mm -hmm. I did like his quips. Uh, I thought maybe Cable didn't get enough of uh, a background or storyline into this. Mm -hmm. But then again, I guess with this title, they're assuming you know both of these teams. Uh, De well team up and just nothing really explained in this right now oh, yeah. Deadpool's going back through time he's causing havoc and of course Cable's trying to stop him because the timeline's getting ruined as and whenever always. there's weird nonsensical time stuff you can trust that Cable's involved or so, Bishop yep and nothing's really explained it does seem it it may be something that picks up later down the line but right now I like it because of Deadpool but I'm not 100% invested in it over from Image, we have Tech Jacket, which is, fun, a fakey firsty, in that there are essential plot details not contained in the issue you're expected to know. That's always fun. Yeah. Like, our main character here is supposed to have met with aliens, his girlfriend is supposed to be an alien, and they gave him his suit. How do we know this? We don't! It's just mentioned awkwardly in exposition by their really bad Richard Branson-esque villain who does nothing. The entire thing has a lot of good ideas, like the Richard Branson villain, or the idea of a father-son superhero team, but none of them are fleshed out enough, and overall, it just feels... Very lackluster and like a generic superhero book, which is a shame because they could have been something special, and in the end, it's just something generic. Yeah. And the last one we have here, of course, again from Marvel, is Rocket Raccoon. Being from the Guardian of the Galaxy is coming out soon, and they are just pushing this ro rocket. Yeah, I raccoon, mean, yeah. they're really pushing him to be like the next Mickey Mouse of their darn uh, empire, and it's. While it's enjoyable, in some respects, mm -hmm. it's also kind of annoying. And in this case, this comes off a little bit more annoying. The artwork is kind of more Cartoon Network. The it doesn't really yeah. come off with any gravitas to it's it. It's very kitty and it's very silly that way, yet the story itself it's is not for adult. children. The story really centers around, yeah, Rocket is a little bit of a uh, philanderer, and some of his uh, girlfriends past, all humanoid, which is a little... There's bestiality in this. Yeah. Not explicit, but... Like, I like that you say that with a dead face. Yeah. And how else can you say it? Unless you're talking about Saga. Mm. It's coming. Yes. <laughs> and it's really cool. It's ideal-wise, but it just never quite pulls it off. It tries to be kiddish with the artwork and a lot of the humor, and it tries to be adult with the storyline and some of the violence. And it... It tries to balance those and never quite makes it over either one of the goalposts. It feels like it tries to appeal to everyone, but ends up not really being anything in itself. It's a whole lot of little appeals equaling nothing as a whole. Yeah, essentially, uh, well, your parents are watching the uh, World Cup, yeah. and it basically comes down to it's like a soccer game where everyone's dribbling, trying to get to the goal, and it never quite makes any scores on either side. So, as usual, we have other reviews up on the site, but I do want to spend a special mention to the recent news that Stars has picked up American Gods for series after HBO failed to make one. They're um, teaming up with Fremantle Media to make it, and they've gotten Brian Fuller of NBC Hannibal and Michael Green to both pen the pilot and be showrunners for it, along with executive producers, including Neil Gaiman as one of those. This is great. I love hearing this uh, information about uh, the comic books are coming out in the, all these different medias. Um, and the television shows, really, we're looking forward to, in the next year or two, a lot of these television shows coming yeah. out. Netflix has tons of them we coming have out. four t uh, superhero TV shows coming out this fall alone. Yeah, and, I mean, if anything, at least one of those should be picking up. I mean, Arrow mm -hmm. has been amazing, and I'm looking forward to more of that, basically. Along with the Flash spinning off show from it. Yep. Constantine from NBC, uh, Gotham from Fox, and uh, Peggy Carter from ABC. Yep, there you go. And uh, 
just it, all these different mediums too, not just regular television, uh, and then also Netflix has their own mm -hmm. made to order basically. And so we're gonna see a whole bunch of things coming out, all these different mediums, all these different ways to get it, and we'll see what sticks. Yeah, we will. But it all sounds promising. I'll have more information about that in an article that was posted yesterday. Check it out if you want to know more. I think that's it for us, though. Uh, yeah, that is it for this comic station. And check out all this cool stuff that Lido has. And maybe next week Lido will be manning the helm uh, for the next comic station as I go enjoy my vacation maybe at the shore. So next week might just be you and me solo, guys. Enjoy. All right, thank you very much, and we will see you next week.